What's up guys, welcome to your 35th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to use something called an associative array. Now it's kind of different than the arrays we've been learning before for one main reason. Instead of using array index numbers to access the elements in our array, we can use strings of characters instead. So basically words instead of numbers. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys an example because if I try to explain it, it'll just confuse it. If I show you guys an example, it'll make it really easy to see what's going on. So I'm going to make an array called Bucky and I'm going to set this equal to new array. Let's just go ahead and leave it blank for now. Now like I said, before we learned that you can make an array using index numbers like this. But what an associative array does is it allows you to use strings of characters such as the word color and this would set this is basically what associative array is. It associates a word with another variable instead of a number. So now we can set Bucky color equal to Bucky's favorite color which is blue. It's actually a tie for blue and white but you know I'll use blue. It's shorter to type. So aside from that we can add other elements to the Bucky array so instead of you know zero or one or two we can make Bucky array index food and this might be equal to my favorite food which is Hot Pockets or Mac and Cheese. It's a tie, but you know, might as well throw Hot Pockets in there. So now, as you can see, basically all an associative array is, is instead of numbers like 0, 1, 2, you can replace it with characters such as color, food, name, hair color, and how you access this is the exact same. So now we can go ahead and like make documents write and do something stupid like um Bucky's favorite food is and then just go ahead and add a plus and now again like I said to access any element in the array you write the name of your array and then you write the index which is either food or color right here so this is gonna print out Bucky's favorite food is Hot Pockets, hopefully, as long as I didn't mess anything up. So launch it in Chrome and refresh it. And actually, I need a semicolon instead of a colon there. And now I get Bucky's favorite food is Hot Pockets. So let's take a look at one more quick example and just throw color right in there. So now we have an array Bucky that has two elements in it Bucky Color which is equal to blue and Bucky food which is equal to Hot Pockets so now it's gonna say Bucky's favorite food is blue which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever but hey at least it works so check it out Bucky's favorite food is blue maybe I'm talking about those kablooies because whenever I was in fifth grade I ate these things called kablooies they're pretty much a jawbreaker but they like dyed your mouth blue which you know why would you want your mouth dyed blue I don't know about I was in fifth grade and I absolutely loved it so, so anyways that is what an associative array is it's really simple it's just a little bit different than the arrays that we've been learning before so anyways now you know the concepts of an associative array and by the way let me mention this whenever you're working with arrays in building programs later on like calculators and looking at data and stuff you don't really use associative arrays as long as much as you use the other type of array but they're always nice to know if you ever come across it so anyways that's all I have to say um, in the next tutorials we're gonna be stepping away from arrays and going into another topic so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later